Wherever there are lots of deer, gardening is going to be difficult, but especially in the shade. There is no such thing as a deer-proof plant, but here are some good choices for shady areas because to their textures and flavors that deer don't like. Number one, lily of the valley bush. It may seem like deer would eat just about anything, but the lily of the valley bush, commonly known as pyrus, is safe. In the spring, this broadleaf evergreen, which prefers partial shade, bears drooping clusters of pink, white, or rose blooms that are completely unappealing to deer. Lily of the valley bush, sometimes known as andromeda, prefers partial shade. You can put it in a foundation planting or a border of shrubs. They're able to do well in zones five through eight. Number two, lungwort. Lungwort, often known as pulmonaria, is not only aesthetically pleasing, but also very resistant to deer. In the spring, sprays of pink or blue flowers top off the attractive foliage of this hardy shade perennial, which comes in a variety of different types. This low maintenance plant is ideal for planting alongside deer resistant spring bulbs like Narcissus and Scylla. From hardiness zone two to eight, lungwort can be planted. Number three, all still be. Use all still be's delicate featheriness to enliven the shadiest parts of your garden. This hardy perennial features fern-like leaves that add color and interest, even when the plants aren't in flower and bears blooms in red, coral, white, lavender, and cream. There's a limit of three feet in height and 30 inches in width. All still be can survive in USDA plant hardiness zones four through eight. Number four, Jack in the Pulpit. The native wildflower Erisema trifillum is a hardy and simple addition to any garden, blooming reliably and profusely each spring. This perennial is easily identified by its hooded green or purple blossom, which is followed by red berries and then goes dormant in the middle of summer. Jack in the Pulpit contains calcium oxalate, which is toxic to deer. The plant can survive in zones four to nine. Number five, Virginia. Virginia is a popular choice for shade gardens because to its trusses of pink blooms that sit atop glossy, heart-shaped leaves. Widely known as pig squeak due to the squeaking sound their leaves make when stroked between thumb and finger, Virginia are evergreen in the southern half of their area. Soil that is rich, wet, and well-drained is ideal and can flourish anywhere between zones three to eight. Number six, Japanese Painted Fern. Japanese Painted Fern is a great solution if deer are a problem in your area. 12 to 18 inches in height, its fronds are a grayish green with silver and maroon tints, and it prefers shade. The Japanese Painted Fern will spread and eventually form dense clumps as it becomes a natural part of the landscape. The ideal conditions for the growth of Japanese Painted Fern include soil that is rich, slightly damp, and well-drained. Number seven, Ligularia. Ligularia is a plant grown for both its massive dark green foliage and its spikes of bright yellow flowers. It prefers gloomy areas, but suffers from a lack of water. Mulch the plants to help the soil retain moisture. Plant Ligularia in a rain garden or at the water's edge or along a shady stream bank. From hardiness zone four to nine, Ligularia can flourish. Number eight, Brunera. Brunera macrophylla, sometimes known as Siberian bugloss, is a popular ornamental plant due to its showy blue spring flowers and vibrant heart-shaped leaves. The plants eventually form solid clumps that spread by creeping rhizomes and self-sowing, and deer tend to avoid them because of their scratchy texture. 
They thrive in climate zones 3 to 8. Number 9. Skimia. Scented white spring flowers and clusters of crimson fruits on female skimia plants are a rare treat among shade-loving shrubs. Shade-loving broadleaf evergreen skimia is resistant to browsing by deer and makes a lovely floral hedge or foundation plant. For fruit to form on a plant, both male and female plants must be present. Also, songbirds will be drawn to the berries. Zones 6 to 8 are ideal for growing skimia. Number 10. Bottle Brush Buckeye. In shaded areas, Bottle Brush Buckeye is one of the best flowering shrubs because of its resistance to deer. In early June, this native plant will blanket your garden in spikes of pure white flowers, full of nectar that will draw swarms of butterflies. In the autumn, the leaves take on a vivid yellow hue. The growing range of Bottle Brush Buckeye is from Zone 4 to 8. Well, thanks for watching video from Catchy Garden. Don't forget to click like and subscribe button to always support our channel. You can also turn on the notification bell to get the latest videos from us. We'll see you in the next videos.